Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a video titled The Metric System Explained for Americans. Uh, I've said this before, uh, the metric system, I'm not a hater. Uh, I think it's a valid system, obviously. And um, I've had my fair share of, uh, you know, situations where I'm trying to convert, you know, to the metric. And, um, you know, it's 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 a little bit difficult. I, I'm not really big on the conversion. I think, um, you know, you got to just stick to one of them. And... Um, People said the uh, metric is actually better than Imperial. Um, I know that majority of people think that. So um, we're actually going to be checking out this video right now. And um, let's see uh, what is going to be explained. And uh, maybe I, I, I get a little better understanding. You know what I mean? And um, let's see what this video has for us. And uh, without further ado, guys, let's get right into this video. The scientific community and the whole world, except for America, are certain that the metric system is better than the freedom system, also known as Imperial. In the book Wild Thing by Joss Bezell. Wait, what? The scientific community and the whole world, except for America, are certain that the metric system is better than the freedom system, also known as Imperial. In the book Wild Thing by Joss Bezell, he writes In metric, one milliliter of water occupies one cubic centimeter, weighs one gram, and requires one calorie of energy to heat up by one degree centigrade. The imperial system, on the other hand, was invented by a drunk. A quarter is about one inch, a man's shoe is about one foot, a guitar is about one yard, a runway at a large airport is about one mile. Yeah, that seems reasonable. And the conversions are even worse. One mile is 1760 yards, one yard is 36 inches or three feet. One foot. You know, flat out, based on this conversion alone, uh, metric system wins because I know you guys go by like 10 times 10, if I'm not mistaken. So like uh, millimeters, uh, one, 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. And then it goes to 100. So it goes 10 and then 10 times 10. And then whatever the other thing is, I think it is times 10 again. I might get in a little bit of memory because I actually knew the metric system very well because I had to study how to make houses and all that type of stuff. I had to know both measurements. So, um, yeah, I think I might be getting it back. I hope so. It's 12 inches. Oh, you want to convert from smaller units to bigger ones? No problem. One inch is one twelfth of a foot. One foot is one third of a yard. Yeah, that's one bad. yard is one divided by the subscribe button. <laughs> it's not that hard, guys. Go on, like, what are 2,799 yards in miles? Don't know? Well, I, see, I, calculation. It's about 1.59 miles. Oh, what? You should have known. No, the I should The system isn't hard. <laughs> but what are 2,799 meters in kilometers? I mean, the metric system is so bad that you... Uh, meter, that's meter. So if it's going to kilometers, it's sh it's supposed to be less, right? So if it's 2,799 meters to kilometers, kilometers would be the thousand. I'm going to say... Uh, Two point seven nine nine. Okay, no, I hope. Oh, oh, right. You just add a point. It's two point seven nine nine kilometers. Two point seven nine nine. Yeah, yeah. You need a Woo! calculator for this one. And the funny thing yeah, is, yeah, thank you. The Americans Oof. that hate on the metric system, even though it's without question superior to the imperial system, doesn't realize that Americans also use a ton of metric measurements. Oh yeah. Volts, megapixels kilotons and megatons when it comes to TNT, the nutritional... First of all, it's just choosy. It's just choosy. You know, like, you're just being choosy, like, okay, straight up. A lot of Americans use metric day and night. You just, you just don't talk about it, but it is there. It's literally there, right? It's just not official, but it's there. However, what I will say is I just don't understand why would you hate on the metric system. Um, I don't even get it. Like, I, I think humans have a really big issue when it comes to just accepting defeat or you know that okay that's actually a better thing than this one like humans are so screwed mentally bro food labels with grams or milligrams as metric values or the millimeter you use for the caliber of your firearms big facts that's right your guns are tainted with europe now with that out of the way let's look at how the metric system works 
More specifically, we'll talk about the coherent International System of Units, or SI system for short. There are seven base quantities in the SI system. Time, length, mass, electric current, thermodynamic temperature, amount of substance, and luminous intensity. The first three are the most important ones for our everyday life measurements. Each of those quantities gets a base unit. Time is measured in seconds, length is measured in meters, mass is measured in kilograms because someone thought grams aren't as lit, current is measured in amperes, the amount of substance is measured in moles, and the brightness is measured in candida. The temperature is measured in Kelvin. Kelvin! And you scream, why not Celsius? And yet true, Celsius is widely used in our everyday life, but Kelvin is used in science, especially physics, more often. But they are practically the same system anyway, and we'll get to that. You can combine those base units to make way fancier units, like the unit of force in Newton, or the unit That's of true. electrical capacitance, the ferret. But what can we do Fair if our units get too big or too small and we don't want to write out too long numbers? Introducing prefixes. Those are one of the biggest reasons why the metric system is so much better than the imperial. I can't stress enough how awesome they are. Seriously, you just write something in front of a unit and it changes the number however you want it to. If your number is too big, try scaling it down using the prefix terra. You can even do it with the fancy new units, like the newtons. The prefix system isn't hard to learn. The base is that it moves in steps of thousand, except there are some extra at the beginning. Going up, we have the base with no prefix, 10 times larger than this is deca, 10 times larger than this is hecto, 10 times larger than this is kilo, a thousand times larger than this is mega, a thousand times larger than this is giga, a thousand times larger than this is terra, and so on, all the way up to the newly added runner and quetta. <laughs> Listen, the max I I've known was Terra. Uh, the, the 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 P in Arbre. Recognize some of those Holiday. prefixes from kilometers, kilo, mega, giga, and terabytes, or something else entirely. Going down, we have the base with no prefix. Ten times smaller than this is deci. Ten times smaller than this is centi. No. Ten times smaller than this is milli. Yeah. A thousand times smaller yeah. than this is micro. The smallest smallest I know is the nano. Man, I ain't know no P. Quetto. Wow. That's really, that's, that's really solid. I, I'm not going to hold you, man. Like that's really solid. Cause that's making work really easy. And let's be honest. Let's be honest. If you know anything about physics or, um, important math, I'm not talking about day-to-day -day math. I'm talking about important math, meaning that math that it has to be so freaking precise, right? Not accurate, but precise, right? Um, that guess what if you have 0 0.0001 it's different from 0 0.001 if i said the same thing i'm sorry but the whole point is adding an extra zero can make a measurement off by a lot when you're talking about some important details if you know what i mean a thousand times smaller than this is nano and so on all the way down to the fresh new prefixes ronto and quecto for example one crectometer is about the length of my Whoa. Why did we cut at this point again? For example, the shortest possible distance, the Planck length, is about 0 0.000016 crectometers. You might recognize some of these prefixes from centi and millimeters, deciliters, nanotech, or something else entirely. This makes conversions between units incredibly simple. You just add zeros or take them away in order to change a unit. It even works with different units that are already raised to a power. For example, one cubic meter is one billion cubic millimeters. And obviously, we care about water a lot. So, one cubic decimeter is one liter of water or one liter in general, and one liter of water weighs one kilogram. Hmm. It also means that you can estimate the volume of a human pretty quickly by knowing their weight. If a human weighs 60 kilograms, about a normal weight, the person has a volume of about 60 cubic decimeters. Since humans are mostly made out of water, so the density of a human is roughly the density of water. Right. You can't it makes do sense, actually. like this in the imperial system. 
You know you can. Now let's talk about temperature. Oh boy. Under normal pressure, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius and freezes right. at zero degrees Celsius. Right. Initially, it was the other way around, but after the guy who invented the system died, we just flipped it around because we liked it better that it gets hot when the number rises. The absolute zero, the coldest temperature that can never be reached, is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. Kelvin thought that it would be better to have the absolute zero as the value zero. So he set up a new scale with the same distance between steps to the Celsius scale, just with a different starting point. To get from Celsius to Kelvin you just add 273.15 and the other way around you just subtract it. Fairly simple. Okay. Now look at the calculation to get from Fahrenheit to Celsius. It's utter chaos. The Fahrenheit <laughs> system is the odd one out and not really used in science at all, except to communicate temperatures to the American public. It's true. It's really I'm not I'm not gonna hold you. It's not why is Siri popping up? It's not a lie. It it may it may hurt Americans, it may hurt people's feelings to think that something that you idolize is so useless in a lot of places but it really isn't all that the, the the metric system is literally flat out better and obviously if the metric system came along after obviously it's going to be better so come on think about it in science this was a short explanation about the basis of the metric system i hope you enjoyed the video and that you will switching to metric soon no it was solid Switching to metric, I don't even know if I'm switching to nothing because um, aren't we already using metric? Like, be real. Uh, I think we're already using metric. Like, things that I, I think it's not necessary to change, um, you know, metric to uh, from imperial to metric are things like gas, you know, um, you don't need that. Gallon, liter, it, it's not really necessary because, you know, you're living in a specific place, uses gallons, you, that one uses liter. It's not a big deal. However, um, when it comes to talking the big talks, metric definitely gets that. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and uh, I'm out of here guys. On to next time. Peace.